Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick showcase of my MP CNC, my mostly printed CNC. Uh, I built, I have an enclosure for it here that I built uh, a couple months ago, maybe last August, uh, October. And, um, you know, for dust and noise management here in the basement. And I built it out of standard two by fours. I have a three quarter inch MDF uh, base here that everything sits on. And I'm using half inch MDF for the side panels. So I have a, a hole cut out here and I've had some leftover plexi. So I just cut the, cut the holes out here with a jigsaw and I have handle on each side. That way I can uh, easily remove it if I need to, you know, if I need to work on the machine. So uh, on the front here, I have 3D printed uh, hinges as well as handles. And I found these hinges on Thingiverse here and they're uh, lift off hinges. I scaled them up, I don't know, 150, 200%. And the nice part about them is that I can, if I need to take the doors off to work on the machine, I can just slide it open and uh, just lift the hinges off, lift them right off the hinges. So, so yeah, we'll get right into the machine here. Uh, just want to do a quick overview. And uh, I've had the machine for, oh, I don't know, about a year. And maybe, I don't know, six months ago, I kind of did an overhaul on it. And I brought it in the basement. I actually downsized the machine. Yeah, I used to have, I don't know, two foot by three foot cutting area. And now I'm down to about 18 inches, by 18 by 24 maybe. So, but yeah, uh, during that time, I also upgraded from the mini Rambo to the full size Rambo. So I'm running the full size Rambo on this machine. And that is down in the left here. And this is an enclosure I've designed myself for the machine. And uh, I have on top of it a Raspberry Pi. So I'm, ru I'm running Octoprint on the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm controlling the Rambo board uh, with Octoprint. So I'm pretty familiar with Octoprint on my 3D printers. So I figured it was only fitting to control the CNC with it too. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of used to the workflow. So it... It was familiar to me. So I also don't have a laptop tied up to the machine. So I don't have to worry about, you know, Windows updates, screwing up an hour long cut or the laptop going to sleep or any of that business. So, uh, but yeah, it's working out pretty, uh, pretty good so far. Uh, I don't have a dedicated tablet for the machine. I typically just run it off my phone for now, but, uh, but yeah, so I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi here. And I got the full size Rambo. Just take a quick peek inside here. I've got, <laughs> I found these labels in my computer parts bin for uh, like SATA cable uh, labels. And uh, they were great because, um, you know, obviously none of this is labeled. So I got X1, X1, X2, and Y2, or X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. And then you don't need to label Z because there's only one. But, uh, but yeah, this is a, just a quick overview of the board. Uh, this wire right here is for my laser, which I have a mount for um, on the board. Take a quick peek of what that looks like here. This is the module itself, and it just kind of slides in right there. I got the screws on there right now. But uh, just slides in, and then I use the two screws there to tighten it down. And uh, yeah, I just kind of use it when I need to. So I don't keep it on there all the time because, you know, sawdust and crap gets into it. So it's nice to just have the modular mount there. So, but yeah, um, what else about the board? That's pretty much it. Um, dual end stops. So I got all my end stops coming in here. And just a quick overview of those, put the lid back on. Um, I've got, I'm using Ryan's mount and he made the mount for the side bearings here. You got the end stop here. And then that comes across and hits the, the block here on the belt. So 
Uh, it's been working so far. You know, so far so good. I haven't had any problems with it. Actually, I haven't had any problems with it. But, um, you know, it's working pretty good. You do have to self-square it. Or you do have to, you know, square the machine and go in the firmware and tell it how many, you know, millimeters it should offset. So, but yeah. So, let's see. Just a quick uh, overview of the gantry here. I mentioned before that my laser mount here is tied to my dust shoe. And then uh, this dust shoe was made by Nick Ellison, I believe. I apologize, Nick, if I'm forgetting your last name or mispronouncing it. But uh, Nick was kind enough to include the Fusion file in the thing, his Thingiverse post, which is awesome of anyone to do that. So what I did was I adjusted my hole here to fit my port. I also added this solid brace here to bring it outward. And then I brought the hole out, I don't know, a half inch. And uh, I also added the laser mount here. So uh, thank you, Nick, for doing that. And then he, he's also got this uh, bristle dust shoe here. And he's I he printed, uh, he has a model for TPU bristles. So these are actually TPU, which is uh, pretty slick. So, and that just... Uh, fits on there with magnets. So, so yeah, I have an XT60 connector up top here and that is so I can quickly disconnect the router if I need to pull this off and work on the machine and then I can leave this hang in the cable chain. So, so yeah, we'll see if I can do this one-handed. All right, good quality XT60 right there. You can do it one-handed. So, yeah, I got the cable chain here. Uh, I believe this is one inch angle aluminum. And I just kind of um, printed these mounts for it here. I don't have one along the X axis, just the Y. Uh, I should probably do that at some point, but you know, the machine works. So, uh, yeah, I do have the burly parts printed here. So, I printed the burly parts three, four months ago and got them on there. I had the machine apart when I moved it to the basement to build the enclosure. So I figure I might as well print burly parts for it and uh, get those on there. So, so yeah, let's see here. Um, E-Stop. So I bought this E-Stop on Amazon, maybe 10 bucks. It is, uh, it has two normally closed contacts on it. And the nice part about this is that I have uh, 110 going to it, so I have the router going to it, going to one normally closed contact, and then I have the Rambo board going to the other normally closed contact. So if shit hits the fan and you want to stop the machine really quick, you can hit the e-stop and that stops your 110 volt router and it also stops your 12 volt Rambo board. So it's kind of like a double whammy. Uh, but uh, the reason I, the main reason I added this was not only for safety, well, you know, that's obviously a concern, but the Raspberry Pi stays powered on during all of this. Uh, I used to have it all plugged into the power strip, and then I used the power strip as an e-stop, you know. Uh, but then the Raspberry Pi restarts during that time. So the way I have it wired up now is the Raspberry Pi stays powered on, and then only the Rambo board restarts. So the Raspberry Pi takes like five minutes to reboot. Whereas the Rambo board takes like 10 seconds. So, so yeah, e-stop, very uh, handy to have. Printed 3D printed enclosure too, you know, par for the course there. But uh, here is my 12 volt to five volt converter. And this is for the Raspberry Pi. It uh, saves me from having to use a, you know, a wall wart phone charger for the Raspberry Pi. So um, power strip here, pretty standard. So this guy right here actually, yeah, this guy here is uh, 12 volts to my laser. So whenever I'm using the laser, I will pull this out from the hole here and uh, power that up with that. So uh, take a quick peek underneath here. And I have a 12 volt power supply, pretty standard. I believe it's a 30 amp, you know, which is a little overkill, but it gets the job done. So uh, printed brackets for it just to get it out of the way and wire managed the best I could, you know. So, um, 
not much to look at down here, but you know, it's there. So uh, while, we're down, while we're down here, I can show you the speed controller that I have. And this is for the shop vac, which resides over to the right there. And the shop vac, I need to do full or variable. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. I just have it Velcroed to the, uh, to the wood here. But you need to do full. Or you can do variable. So, so yeah. Uh, a little bit about the dust collection while we're talking about it. I have the orange hose here, which is the only hose that fits my mount and it fits nice and snug. And then that goes up into the roof here and out to the side. And so right now I have that plugged right into the shop vac and it's got a little tilt to it, but so I have that plugged right into the shop vac. And, uh, or if I'm using the laser, I can uh, plug in one of the black hoses here and then the black hose will plug into the orange hose. So that will go to my dust shoe. And then that will go up to this uh, blower I got here. And I got this on Amazon for like 20 bucks and I printed a little mount for it to adapt to my hose. And then that will go over to my um, exhaust for the hot water heater and then I take that little cover off and then run a flexible hose to that when I'm uh, cutting with the laser so works pretty well works very well actually so uh, another thing I forgot to mention was I have these adjustable feet for the CNC and these are very handy to have I would highly recommend them instead of just using the conduit and this lets you get a uh, nice and level workspace. Uh, you've heard the saying, if you can't make it perfect, make it adjustable. Well, that's uh, you know a tribute to that. So, um, got 3D printed clamps here. I've got self-threaded inserts um, every four inches or so on the uh, melamine here. So, yeah, that's about it really. Shop light up top. Um, Everything controlled on Google Home. I've got an outlet on the right here with the hockey puck there. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, you know, leave a comment if you're interested or have any questions. Uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, I want to start making more videos here. It's just kind of showing what I'm doing. So, so yeah, if, uh, if you're interested in or if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.